Oh, what a beautiful day on the content farm. The sun's shining, the flowers are blooming. I can't wait to check out my content critters. Oh my fiddly stickums, they're all out and running around. Hello YouTube and welcome back to Pause the TV. Today I want to talk about something a little different but probably very familiar to a lot of you guys if you are often on YouTube. I want to talk about the YouTube channel Zamination, the series Fazbear and Friends, and the nature of content farms. And trust me, there is a lot going on here so buckle up. And yes, I had to shave my beard for my day job, go easy on me. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, ring that bell, it really helps. Now let's jump into it. Zamination is a YouTube channel that makes animated shorts and they are also owned by the company Mob Entertainment. Which which is then owned by Enchanted Mob. If this name sounds familiar, it's because this is the company that owns the game Poppy Playtime and all of its subsidiaries. But this is their true origins, making Minecraft shorts and music videos featuring characters from other games. Enchanted Mob, Mob Entertainment, and Zamination were created by Zack and Seth Bellinger, two brothers who dedicated their lives to this company. They pride themselves on things like storytelling, quality, creativity, uh, I think they might have dropped the ball on a couple of these. But what I really want to focus on today is when they started making their voxel style Five Nights at Freddy's animations called Fazbear and Friends. Zamination started out innocently enough making these animations and even videos teaching you how to make your own animations. In future tutorials, I will be teaching stuff such as lighting, animation tips, setting up a scene, importing a world, creating walk cycles, lip syncing, and extra tips on how to bring your animation to life. But after a while it seems like they just saw dollar signs and they really fell into the category of content farm. In 2021, Zamination released their first Five Nights at Freddy's animation called Fazbear and Friends. This would premiere to a whopping 34 million views and take the channel on a completely different course. No more are the tutorials on how to make your own animations or the innocent kid-friendly shows. Now. We have this. Wow. Yeah. Welcome to Freddy's, please enjoy your stay. You'll have to play the whole day away. God, they all look so terrible. Now you might be thinking, wait, this is the company that makes Poppy Playtime, not Five Nights at Freddy's. How do they have the rights to use these characters? And my answer is, Good question. They even sell Fazbear and Friends merch on the Enchanted Mob website. How is this possible? But look guys, they're hiring 3D animators. Don't you want to go work at a company that steals characters from other companies and probably are going to get a bunch of copyright strikes? But the cartoon seems innocent enough on the surface until you start watching an episode or two and things start to take a weird turn. Hey boys and girl. Very soon after the first episode of Fazbear and Friends released, you can tell that Mob Entertainment really starts to understand the YouTube algorithm and uses it to their advantage. The thumbnails start to get excessively more violent and sexual, which is especially weird considering this is a kid show. They start using female characters such as Circus Baby in almost every single thumbnail, and they add cleavage to all the female characters in their thumbnails just to make it as clickbaity as possible. But they see the money rolling in and they double down on all of this stuff. And this is really what starts to make it a content farm. See, all the episodes episodes of Fazbear and Friends have two versions, a version A and a version B. There is extremely little, if any, differences between the two versions, but it allows them to post the same video twice with just a different thumbnail and title. This of course gets them double the views and double the money. But that's not the only shady content farm practice here. They also cut up all of their episodes into shorts, post them on YouTube shorts, and then compile the shorts into new videos that they then post on their channel. It actually starts to get hard to find the new content on their channel channel because all of these videos are just compilations of their shorts. The majority of their videos actually are just 20 to 30 minute long short compilations with no new content, so they reuse the same content as much as possible to get as much money as they can. They want to make sure to milk this as much as possible. So with so much success from the Five Nights at Freddy's characters, they decide why not add other characters that are also popular with children. Who in Parappa's name is that? What is this? Some sort of squid game? And that's where we get this gem, with a amalgamation of characters from Friday Night Funkin', FNAF, Baldi's Basics, Among Us, Bendy and the Ink Machine, and even Doki Doki <laughs> Literature Club, just every popular IP at the time stuffed into one video. And again, they don't have the rights to use any of these characters, but it did get them millions and millions of views. One of the major problems with content farms isn't just the lazy content or them being greedy, it's that there's 
overly sexual and overly violent themes, a lot of these content farms, even going back to Elsagate, insert fetish content into their videos. It leads to kids loving this type of content and parents to be completely unaware because they just see the bright colors and cartoon characters. Content like this also gets by YouTube's content filters, even though it's very obviously inappropriate. But along with the weird sexualization and graphic violence of these cartoons, a lot of them just don't make sense. The titles and thumbnails allude to a certain story of each episode, but those stories don't actually exist in the episodes. It's all just random gags and bits to get kids' attention. There's no through line in the story, and the quality drops significantly as the episodes go on. Well, that's peculiar. Any of you boys order some KFC? Father, forgive me, for I'm about to make some finger-licking bad choices. <laughs> So as of about seven months ago, Zamination has not posted anything on their YouTube channel, and it looks like they're taking a step back from Fazbear and Friends and making more music video style content, but if we look at their Twitter, it shows that they are not completely inactive. It looks like they're just going to add to the roster of their stolen characters and make videos about Lethal Company. So even if they have toned back on the content farming in the past year, it seems like they're still stealing art and stealing characters. Good old Mob Entertainment. Now this awful content farm, plus the fact that Mob Entertainment tried to put out NFTs of Poppy Playtime, really just shows that they're trying to milk as much money as they possibly can from their audience, which again, is mainly children. The terrible practices of Enchanted Mob is a huge rabbit hole to dive down, from the content farms to stolen artwork, to NFTs and rehashed content, it's all bad. Enchanted Mob and Mob Entertainment is not the only company that's making Five Nights at Freddy's content farms though. There are other channels doing it, and those channels arguably are even worse. But with Mob taking a step back from this style of content and going back to their music video roots, maybe things will just get a little bit better on YouTube. But I just wanted to touch on this topic. I know content farms are a huge problem on YouTube, and if you want to see me deep dive into it even further, just let me know down in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time.